Well, a debate around the name of the city of Hyderabad. It's been reignited once again by the BJP after its national executive yesterday. In fact, speaking as the national executive, the Prime Minister said that Bhagyanagar, and he used the name Bhagyanagar for Hyderabad. He said that's the place from where Sardar Patel had given the clarion call of Ek Bharat to the entire nation. But the TRS and the MIM are opposed to this name change. They are calling it nothing but communal politics. Is name change uh, mere semantics or is there a question of identity inbuilt into every city? If you can rename Chennai and Mumbai and Kolkata, then why not rename Hyderabad? What's in a name? Turns out a lot. A comment by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the BJP National Meet in Hyderabad set the cat among the pigeons. Bharat Mata ki. Telangana BJP ne. In his address to the Karyakartas, the Prime Minister referred to Telangana's capital as Bhagyanagar. Why the change of name? According to Prime Minister Modi, this is where Sardar Patel coined the term Ek Bharat. Hyderabad mein Sardar Patel ne Ek Bharat ki niu rakhi thi. Ab BJP ke kandho par Ek Bharat se Shresht Bharat ki yatra ko pura karne ka daayit pa hai. The remark to the opposition's ayo. Telangana Chief Minister KCR son KTR tweeted and I quote, Why don't you change Ahmedabad's name first? The Congress also took a pot shot at the BJP, asking them to rename their party first. Hyderabad ka naam badalna chahte hai, badal lije, pehle BJP ka naam badaliye. Bharatiya, Bharat Jalao Party hai. Pehle apna naam karan sanskar kar dein, uske baad shaheron ke naam badalne dein. Bharat Mata ki! In the run-up to the Telangana elections next year, the BJP has clearly signaled that the state is their top priority. Mato Mutholako Na Namaskaram can the renaming exercise lead to significant gains for the party? All right, uh, let me now open this up to our panelists. Uh, renaming of Hyderabad to Bhagyanagar, the BJP, many, many leaders have already indicated that will be the first thing on their priority if they do come to power in Telangana when the elections happen in 2024. Shahzad Punawala, spokesperson of the BJP, is here with us. Krishank Mani, spokesperson of the TRS. Uh, Prerna Tiruvai Patti is a researcher and Vice President of the Hindu Jan Shakti. Uh, all right, uh, Shahzad, this is what the Prime Minister said yesterday at the National Executive. He said, Hyderabad is Bhagya Nagar, which is significant for all of us. Sardar Patel kept the foundation of a unified India, and now it's BJP's responsibility to carry it further. Why do you insist that changing the name is what is a priority for you and your government? And if you come to power, you will change the name. No, I was there at that meeting when the Prime Minister made that particular reference. And if we believe that a certain pronunciation, articulation of a name actually connects with the cultural heritage of that place, isn't that our prerogative? Nowhere did the Prime Minister indicate in any manner whatsoever that we are changing the name or we are not changing the name. He took the name which we feel identifies more with the cultural legacy of that place. Somebody wants to call it something else, that's their choice. But having said that, to reduce the entire focus of what we will do when the new government comes, and I'm glad that at least today one is acknowledging that the 2023 will see a new government. It will be a government that will put nation first. It will be a government that will put people first as opposed to family first and corruption first. And yes, uh, if the new government comes to power, it will be their, their prerogative to change whatever names or other schemes and other complexities that need to be changed. But having said that, what is more important is what the current government is doing. And what the current government is doing is a complete betrayal of the principles on which they had come to power. Please tell me the three principles that they had completely cited, Nilu, Nidalu, and Niyamakalu, haven't all three been betrayed? Today there is family first. Only the family is being promoted, not the people of this uh, state. You can see the manner in which every scheme is resulting into corruption and is being used in the ATM by the family to loot the state of Telangana. In fact, people say that TRS is no longer Telangana Rashtriya Samiti, but in fact it has become Tushtikaran and Rampant Scams Samiti. This is the kind of uh, politics that is taking place. The Kaleswaram project, which was 40,000 crores, has now escalated cost to no, 1,30,000 crores. Today's debate is not on corruption. No, one second. One second, Shazad. one second. Shazad, one second. Uh, today's debate is not on corruption, the do, uh, omissions and commissions of TRS. Today's debate is on the renaming. So please justify to our viewers who are watching this program 
why you believe it's important to change the name of the city i think there is a lot more that needs to be changed in telangana not just the name of one place or the other bhagya badalne ki zarurat hai and bhagya badlega to bhagya ke nagar se hi badlega which is hyderabad and okay. if you see the bhagya of two assembly seats have already been changed the bhagya of ghmc was also all, uh, changed when bjp went from 3 to 50 to bhagya bhi badlega और भाग्य की नगरी जो है वो हैदराबादी okay. है। कृषांक माने दिस होल थिंग इज लिंक्ड टू इलेक्टोरल पॉलिटिक्स इट इज अ फैक्ट दैट इन द 2019 लोकसभा इलेक्शंस द बीजेपी वन फोर सीट्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ऑफ देम अराउंड हैदराबाद आउटसाइड द मेन हैदराबाद द ग्रेटर हैदराबाद रीजन इन नवंबर व्हेन द दुबाका असेंबली बाय इलेक्शन हैपेंड द रूलिंग पार्टी रिमेंबर हैड वन बाय ह्यूज मार्जिन दे लॉस्ट टू द बीजेपी Uh, then the GSM uh, GHMC polls, which uh, Shahzad referred to, uh, where you were hoping to uh, defeat the BJP, the BJP won 49 seats. So it's clear that the graph of the BJP in Telangana is going up, and uh, the sentiment of changing the name from Hyderabad to Bhagyanagar, they are reflecting uh, what what people there want. Zaka, there are two things, Zaka. Uh, one thing, when it comes to the Greater Hyderabad municipal elections. no party ever came twice in power so trs won that consecutively the second time and if you're talking about uh, changing the name of the city this is nothing new for the bharatiya janata party in 2014 it was their priority they've campaigned it people showed them their result in 2018 they campaigned the same people showed a better result for bharatiya janata party by giving them only one seat so now they think they, it is their priority people will show the result too because if they really had love for the people of bhagyanagar they would have aided us financially when zaka your channel also uh, channel also telecasted in 2020 when there was devastating floods in hyderabad till date national disaster fund this is what bhartiya janata party supported us or government of india supported zero till now there is not a single rupee that is their priority so changing the city or as they claim changing the bhagya the, the sincerity is not justified for the bhartiya janata party they do not have the content to speak and that is why when they come here the whole national executive turned to be only a telangana executive committee meeting and what is the output changing of the name of the city and because he has put up some baseless allegations over commissions xyz that i have to respond regarding the kaleshwaram project i think they should know the meaning of nilu nidulu niyamakal water this government of india has not given a single penny for our irrigation projects No, but, no, no, no. One second, Krishan. I'm telling you the same reason. thing which I told yes. Shahzad. Today, today's debate is not about the corruption or omissions and commissions. We'll do another debate on another day. I, I want to go across uh, to Prerna. Sai Shaker is also joining us, senior journalist. This whole there are two uh, theories that are being put forth as to why Bhagya Nagar. One, of course, is this famous temple that's on the close to the southeastern minaret of Charminar, and the the history goes that this temple uh, 